Today, I'm going to talk about worldview and what it means to me. When I was younger, I used to live in a house right near the beach. When I was growing up, my parents liked to talk about important things going on in the world. We would talk about climate change, women's rights, my family history, and how lucky I was to be able to live and learn in such an amazing place. I kept all of these stories close to my heart and thought about them a lot. When me and my sister got older, my parents decided that it was time to move into a bigger house. While we were looking for a bigger place, I started to ask my parents about money and how much buying a house cost. I asked them why some people lived in smaller houses. They told me that I was very lucky to be able to live in such a nice house. This wasn't enough for me though. I wanted to know more, so I asked again. This time, they said that there are lots of people who can't afford houses like ours because they don't have a job or their job doesn't pay well. That is just a small part of why lots of people can't afford a big house. Houses are really expensive and not very accessible to everyone. When we moved to our new house, I started to realize how lucky I was. We had moved right beside a mountain. Everyone here went skiing and hiking a lot. That winter, we bought our first season passes for the local mountain. My family wasn't used to going skiing, but as the season progressed, we became more used to going until it felt normal. Here's a photo of me and my sister up on the mountain. Here's my sister on skis and me on a snowboard. That summer, me and my family went hiking a lot. My family already went hiking often, but now that we were so close to the mountain, we were able to go more often. The trails here were amazing, but it started to get busier and busier. When more people came, they started to walk off the trail, killing plants. My family didn't like this because it was killing the forest. This is happening more and more often around the world, and this is the time to stop it. In my new neighborhood, I got to go to a school really close to me. I knew that I was really lucky because my grandpa once told me that he had to walk a few miles just to get to school every day. This is still true for some kids in the world, and I realize that my life is so different from theirs. At my new school, we had iPads that the teachers could get for the class. We would work on them and take videos. It was a great tool that even my old school didn't have. We started to use the technology to research information for projects. I started to realize that it can be really helpful and that everyone should ha have access to this kind of stuff. Technology is the future, and people should be familiar with how to use it. My parents still like telling about new stuff, even if we were learning it in school. As I was getting older, we started to talk more about women's rights and what that meant. In the house, there would always be books that I could read about women's rights, and in the car, I would always listen to podcasts about it. This was something my family really valued talking about. We also started to talk more about my family history and where I come from. My mom was born into a Ukrainian Catholic family on the Canadian prairies and was raised not really practicing the religion. My father was born into a Jewish agnostic family. His parents were born in communist Poland and immigrated to Canada before he was born. Because of this mixed background, I learned to practice many diverse traditions in my house, from Christmas to Hanukkah. I'm also learning to stay in touch with my Jewish part of my heritage. After I moved, I started to ask more questions, and I started to wonder more. I started to learn all of this new information. As I was learning everything, I started to have new opinions on things. I started to have reasons why I had opinions on that certain thing. A lot of my opinions were widely spread, making it more of a worldview. As I started to realize this, I saw how certain areas had different opinions on things. As I grew up, I learned many things that have shaped my worldview.